Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Japan has successfully launched its Lunar Explorer, joining a long list of countries that are scrambling to get to the moon. But uh, why is everyone in such a hurry? <laughs> Here's Josh. This is the moment Japan's smart lander for investigating moon, or SLIM for short, blasted off. All systems are broke. But at this rate, it might hit a bit of traffic on its way up there. That's because four other countries also have their sights set on the moon. A few weeks back, India became the fourth country to touch down there, which was not long after Russia attempted and failed to do the same thing, while the US and China also have missions planned. Yeah, it might seem like one nail-biting space race, but it's actually more of a gold rush. You see, a lot of countries and companies are trying to be the first to find and claim moon ice in the lunar South Pole, which space experts reckon can be converted into oxygen, rocket fuel, and even drinking water. And those resources would make life a whole lot easier for astronauts to one day permanently live on the moon in lunar bases. Japan's also focused on having a precision landing within 100 metres of its target site on the lunar surface, rather than the usual landing range of several kilometres. And experts say that would be a game changer for landing on planets that have even fewer resources than the moon. But we'll have to wait until February, when it's due to land, to know if they've pulled it off. Anthony Albanese is set to become the first Australian Prime Minister in seven years to visit China. He's accepted an invitation to meet with China's President Xi Jinping sometime in the next couple of months. It's expected he'll use the meeting to talk about a lot of important topics, including human rights issues and trade rules on Australian imported products. Now it's time to meet 14-year-old Preston, who was asked to animate a scene in the huge blockbuster film Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Justina caught up with him to find out what it was like. So tell me, how does it feel to have your animation in the Across the Spider-Verse movie? Honestly, it feels super incredible to be, to have my work finally noticed and on the big screen for everyone else to enjoy. It's just, it's super cool. So how did this all happen? When the trailer came out, I was like, hey, why don't I recreate this in Lego? Because that'd be cool. My name is Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man. Two weeks later, I finished the trailer and I've decided to upload it to YouTube and Twitter. Not expecting that much, but then it absolutely blew up. And then Sony contacted me, like I saw it like a day or two later. Sadly though, I didn't see the email until like two months later because it got sent to my junk. So it was so surreal that they were actually asking me to do a part for just an absolutely incredible movie. So let's check it out. Get on it! You got it, boss. Right, I'm on it. Get out of here. Boop, boop. Miguel, it's Peter. We got an anomaly. Thank you, Peter. So what was the most exciting thing working on the movie? Honestly, the most exciting thing was just getting to talk to like my idols, like people that I've been like looking up to for so long. I actually got to finally work with them. Do you have any tips for kids who want to start making their own animations? Some advice I can give is start slow and then work your way up to big things. But there's like no limit to what you can do. Your imagination's a limit, really. Ooh. Oh. Now it's time for some stories about unusual challenges. <laughs> oh. First up to a rather strange competition in Montenegro, where folks here are battling it out for the laziest citizen prize. Yep, everyone must stay lying down. No sitting up or standing up allowed. The only exception is every eight hours for a 10 minute toilet break. Now in its 12th year, the competition has seen records tumble, with the previous record of 117 hours being smashed two weeks ago, with no end yet in sight. Now to New York, where Aussie speed eater James Webb has dominated the US chicken wing eating championship. James managed to woof down 276 chicken wings in 12 minutes, which works out to about one wing every two and a half seconds, earning himself a new world record. And finally, to a robot learning how to fly a plane in South Korea. Equipped with large language model AI, it can quickly read and understand human pilot manuals and respond to emergency situations. And because it's a robot, it can do all this without panicking. The team behind it says they hope to get their robot doing some real life tests within the next few years. Well, that's all from us this week. Oh, we'll see you on Monday. Bye. All that for nothing. <laughs>